Indiana state lawmakers are being recognized for their leadership and collaboration during the recent session. News 18's Krista Henry reports what Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller had to say to lawmakers this morning in Tippecanoe County. Monday morning, Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller made a stop in Tippecanoe County to applaud legislators who worked to pass several new bills he says will improve the lives of Hoosiers. These are areas of public health and safety uh, as well as consumer protection. So our office was very happy with the bipartisan uh, work in both the House and the Senate that really helped our office. Zeller says he's pleased with recently passed bills which address everything from problems with illegal synthetic drugs, pain clinics known as pill mills, fraud against Medicaid and Senate Bill 1 which will provide Indiana schools with matching grants of up to $50,000 to hire school resource officers. It was a very productive uh, legislative session. Uh, 15 of the 18 bills that the Office of the Attorney General had sought passed. We were very, uh, uh, I, I think, uh, pleased in regard to the result of many of those bills. I worked on a, a few of those uh, personally myself. So I think that, that what we saw was good collaboration from both sides of the aisle as well with the Attorney General's office. Certainly. Uh, we have some problems, as every state does, with uh, drug enforcement, and these bills will certainly help our prosecutors as well as our other uh, law enforcement folks. Zeller says the passing of these bills represents a victory not just for his office and state lawmakers, but for all Hoosiers. This year was remarkable in terms of uh, the collaboration among both parties and in both the House and the Senate. So I think it'll go down as a very productive year, but also one that uh, was less partisan and a little less like Washington. The Attorney General will be visiting with other state lawmakers throughout the state. Reporting in Tippecanoe County, Krista Henry, News 18.